Welcome to Field Trip Friday, and last time we showed you the beautiful scenery at Akiok Falls. And this week we're going to go explore the shoreline right here in Alpena. It's beautiful in the summer and even in the winter. Yeah, but first we're going to go to one of our favorite local spots in Alpena and grab a cup of coffee because it is chilly. Time to stay warm. Let's, Let's go. go. With our hot coffees in hand, we began exploring Alpena's shoreline. Our first stop was a popular summer spot, Bayview Harbor. You may not see it now, but during the summer, you can expect to see a lot of people soaking in some sun on their boats and enjoying the beauty of Lake Huron. Wow, check it out, huh? This is crazy. Look at this ice. These are like ice chips, ice waves. <laughs> what are these? Oh, they turn blue. It's a, the ice is literally the color of this really. It's amazing. It's like we're in like Antarctica or something. It feels like we're in Antarctica. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> Move, MJ. Yeah. Well, let's go check out what else is on the shoreline. Of course, this is popular in the summer, but people are missing out winter. Yeah, if you're a person that likes to enjoy the cold. <laughs> but I'll, I won't and beautiful it. scenery. Yeah. Oh, look at these frozen footsteps. Let's see if uh, your foot fits in there. <laughs> oh, this doesn't fit big. mine, but yours, yours might be a perfect match. <laughs> this one's, oh, this is perfect. Although the waves weren't splashing and the sun wasn't shining, Lake Huron is just as beautiful during this time of year. And speaking of waves, Mother Nature still finds a way to satisfy the ones that crashed into the shoreline formed into one sight to see. These views are breathtaking and definitely makes us appreciate our surroundings, even if it is frigid out. As we continue to explore our backyard, we took a walk down the Blair Beach Pier. This is a place we both haven't been during the summertime, but seeing it right now, was absolutely amazing. Just gets better and better as you get closer towards the end. It doesn't even look like we're in Alpena anymore. <laughs> Welcome to Antarctica. <laughs> I know, I've never been here. I have the beautiful view of the clouds and the landscape. This pier is picturesque and breathtaking. With that being said, we had to take advantage of the moment. Very natural. Hold on, that, that was not natural. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh, you got that down pat. It looks unreal. Look at that, it looks like it goes on forever. Another beautiful winter spot in Alpena. One more to check out though. I think, well, I think we're gonna more. like this one. Yeah, just one more to check out. For the last stop of the day, we went to a popular destination in Alpena during the winter, the ice tree. And this was another first time experience for both of us. This looks crazy. That's a tree? <laughs> it's hard to believe there's a tree under there. Alpena's ice tree. Wow, I wonder how they got it to freeze like this. I know, let's check it out. Oh. <laughs> wasn't a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Shout out to the snow boots. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if you ever come to the ice tree, make sure you're very careful um, when you try to approach it. Imagine people actually climb things like this, like frozen waterfalls and stuff. They could call this mini Mount Everest. <laughs> you know? This is a really mini version. Many people consider Alpena to be a warm and friendly port. It may not legitimately be that right now, but if you experience the shoreline during this time of the year, then you'd appreciate it just as much as we did. There's one thing we learned about Northeast Michigan, it's beautiful no matter what time of year. Yeah, but that's no excuse for anybody not to go out and enjoy the winter scenery, even though it's cold. But 
I think we're fortunate to be around such a beautiful resource. Absolutely, I agree. And right down the street, we have everything you could ever want. Yep, so make sure you join us next week on Field Trip Friday.